everyone. Aaron Lowell, Master of the Voice. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, inverse pressure breathing and what I call chest breathing. Uh, watch this video for a second. Take a deep breath and puff my stomach out. That is the most uncomfortable, horrible feeling in the world. Your whole spa, your sound producing anatomy, chest mix head collapses. You can't do it like that. Here's my ribs. Watch my, watch my body posture. In the moment right now, as she's taking a breath that lifts the rib cage and her mouth is open, the only thing holding the breath in the rib cage is the voice box and, and the muscles around the vocal cords and the vocal cords themselves. So now she's into what's called impounding subglottal air. She's going, and she's about to do something with her voice, but you can't really control your voice well, so you end up attacking the, 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 the glottis, the airstream that's coming through, because it's closed already and it's hard to control that. So it ends up tightening your voice and it ends up controlling tension before you're trying to use your brain to control singing tension. What I, I find very humorous is that all of a sudden she'll sit down and then use a breath that is not that breath. So continue watching. My ribs come out, my ribs expand to the side and my stomach does what? It comes up and it goes flat. It has to become flat. You cage breathe. Your cage, your rib cage here can hold the voice where you ha She did not take the breath again into the high rib cage as she sang those notes. In, involved more of her abdominal wall instead and she sat down for some reason, which may mean that she's a, a good pianist with singing as she sit, as she's seated. All said, it's again, you didn't use what you thought you were supposed to use when you took the big chest breath, which we, she called a rib cage breath or a cage breath. If you cage breathe, it, it causes voice tension. Um, and we fight that tension then and then get fatigued and then it starts to crack the notes and it starts to give you dysphonia. So uh, I don't recommend cage breathing, uh, just my two cents.